Hello, my name is Paul Wellington, and I'm a painter living in Cape Town, South Africa. Mm. So I wanted to become an artist and a painter pretty much at the same time. Um, I remember seeing pictures of Papa Picasso and Salvador Dali and Francis Bacon's work when I was a kid. Um, and I remember just seeing Salvador Dali's paintings and like, uh, just like the way they created this world that was like quite fantastical but also like really horrifying. Um, and then as I got a bit older seeing images of Francis Bacon Studios and the way like that had such a profound impact on me just because of the, the way the studio would, was like a whole thing in itself like the studio became this organ. Like William Kendrick says that it's a brain, but I almost think it's like a stomach. Like the studio is, yeah, you know, it's this crazy, messy, like place, and it could, yeah. Um, so, and I think it just really excited me. Um, it was just really exciting to see that. Um, you have to almost like lose yourself in like this mess. But also, it was really uh, the thing about, I guess, one of the main thing about being an artist, I guess, for most people, it's also, it's also like this, this chance of like connection uh, with, with other people. So where to connect, it's like an attempt to connect with people around you. So I studied at the Michaela School of Fine Art from 2016 to 2019. Um, at UCT, and uh, yeah, where I got my Bachelor of Fine Arts. The work that, the stuff that gives me energy when I really have painting is, um, when I started, my, the first kind of thing that really spurred me on was, was when I was in fourth year, and it was um, at Michaela's, and um, I drew a lot of inspiration from fiction, particularly South African fiction, and I would make paintings about those texts and um, just certain scenes and passages that like really resonated with me and then I you know, interpreted and then make a painting of that um, but all, ever since then since I've left Michaela's um, really it's like changed a lot it's really become more about the studio and like the inner workings of like the studio and like the mess and certain marks that the images make the reference images when they get Increased, um, and and um, but it, yeah, and, and really also just the fascination with other artists. Often it's often it's this long stint where I'm poring over old images of just mainly Goya. Often a lot of Francisco Goya, but um, uh, Francis Bacon, uh, okay, so I mean, Adrian Gany. It's you know, they, it's lots of there's so many people that in my mind I'm, I just I go from like week to week just different painters sometimes, um, and uh, yeah, they influence me quite a bit. But I guess the the core thing is always try to be the studio and really, yeah, just I guess coming in every day and then just making just forcing myself to make work. And um, so the art community in Cape Town is quite small but well connected I would say um, uh, there's quite like a strong core group I guess of artists like different core groups um, yeah and um, quite almost like a tight-knit community in some ways uh, yeah and um, artists are you know it's nice people are often very open to studio visits or you know um, having conversations about your, you know, each other's work and it's, and it's always interesting to see other people's faces. Yeah, um, but I wouldn't say it's like big at all, but it's, there's definitely a, like a good connection. So what makes Cape Town an interesting place to be and work in um, is that I think one thing is definitely the artists. There's a lot of, there's quite a close community of artists. Um, and um, 
they all kind of close, they all kind of in and around one another, relatively speaking, they're all quite close, relatively speaking, compared to a place like Joburg, where I think things are almost spaced out, and um, that just makes it really easy to go and visit them, and uh, yeah, and go see, there's lots of exhibitions that are, galleries that are quite close to one another, um, you know, we have the Zico National Gallery, we have Zeitzmacher, there's Normal Foundation now as well, all showing, you know, High top end artists, um, contemporary artists, old artists, um, and it really it's a great like cultural hub um, in Cape Town, and uh, really uh, yeah, it's really enriching in a lot of in a, in a lot of ways. My ambition, um, it really is just so my ambition as an artist and as a painter is just really to just keep on painting. Really, it's really the biggest, it's the biggest privilege to be able to just paint all, all the time. To just like paint all day. And just allow myself to just be fully in this work. Um, and yeah. To be honest, there's almost nothing more. I mean, I just want to paint 